everyone, Danny Webster here from Pognow.com, and this is the part two of the Samsung Galaxy S software tour. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually go into the programs, and we have this application called Mini Diary. And it's kind of like a scrapbook for your Android device. And what this allows you to do is put pictures and words to create your own sort of uh, personal diary or scrapbook. So if I wanted to add a photo here, all I have to do is tap and go to Images, and it will launch the gallery program. So let's see here if I pick some of these, I have some downloads, so if I just wanted to add this photo, there we go, and now I can either create a memo, and I can type it like, uh, there we go, and then just save, and now I've saved my diary, and it will show the date of the diary entry, and we can just save that. So the next application is Music Player, and it will show your entire list of music by all. You can also go to Playlists, Albums, or Artists. And a cool thing about this program is all you have to do is turn it into landscape mode. And if I had album art on any of these songs, it would show a photo of the album. But all I have is a disc, and I can just drag this down to get an entire list of all my songs there. Okay, so now I can just go back. And another cool thing about the Galaxy S is it allows you to view all of your files. So a lot of Android devices don't allow you to do this. You have to download a third-party application. So I can just go, let's see here, if I wanted to look at my SD card, I can either install applications from here or view all my photos or uh, music or video or whatnot. So I'll just go back. Now Samsung has included some of their own applications. I've already downloaded a few of them but they are free and they work through the Android market and you can download certain widgets and applications through the Samsung apps. You can go into some of the settings. A cool thing about this device is as you can see the font is different than on other devices. So let's see here, I think it's under uh, display. Where's that at? Sound and display. And now I can go down here to font style and if I want, I can change my font to any one of these fonts, or I can get fonts online, and each one of them are about 99 cents on the Android market. And just cancel and go back. We have Social Hub, which allows you to add different messages to different uh, social networks out there, such as Facebook and Twitter, or we can also change things to messaging. We have Google Talk, which is just a generic Google Talk application, which comes on most Android 2.1 devices. And you can see that Chong and Joe are on there, but uh, Joe is away. Go to Think Free Office, which is a Microsoft Office compatible application, which you can have your own documents or whatnot. And you can either have online documents or my documents. So to use the online documents, you will have to sign up for their service. I'm not too sure exactly how much it is, but I think it's probably free. So we can go to home since it's called Think Free Mobile. I'm guessing it's free. So the next application is the video player. And the cool thing about this device is it has a DivX encoder built in. So I have a video file here uh, for Disney Cruise, which uh, I was thinking about planning on going next year. We'll see. It's so I have this this uh, video file smells. that I um, got from a DVD movies. that I got off of Netflix. Parks. So as you can see, it is very high Sword quality hotels. and the video is very clear. The audio, of course, is very clear. Let me just turn this down here. So there you go. So I can just go back and back again. And we have voice dialer. Call 253-866-9724. Okay, well, apparently it didn't call that number, but it, uh, it works pretty well if it's up to your face. We'll go cancel. We have voice recorder. And we can record some audio. Let's see here if it'll go into uh, portrait mode. So, hey, this is Dan. I'm just making a video here for Pocket Now, so I can stop it. And once it's saved, I can play it. Okay, so the sound quality is pretty good. We'll just go back. We have voice search. So if I wanted to search for something, uh, it's probably going to try to search for that. Anyways, we'll see how well that worked. 
Okay, so I guess it's search for South Orange, search for something. Okay, so we'll just go back. And we have Write and Go. Which is just a simple document. It's kind of like a memo pad for your Android device. But the cool thing about this is you can also update your status onto Twitter and Facebook. And you can also send it as a message. So if I wanted to say test and just say send message, I can send it to one of my contacts and it will send them that message. So we can just go back. OK. And just go back again. Uh, delete all text, yes. So we also have YouTube, which is just the basic Android 2.1 application. So we can search for YouTube videos and play them on our device. And we also have the navigation application. And it's just the basic uh, Android navigation application. So although video calling doesn't really work in the United States, you can activate the front-facing video camera uh, by just going to phone. And we're just gonna test this. Uh, star pound zero star pound launches the Samsung uh, Utilities application so you can test certain features as you can see we can test the screen here And we can also view the front-facing video camera Okay, so there we go we have my camera right there and there is my head so we can go back and we can also do some other cool things with this little application this is a hidden application you do have to dial uh, star pound zero star pound to use this and this is on actually this is actually on most Samsung devices So if you do have a Samsung device you can test this out and The sensor is one a really cool thing uh, you can view all magnetic information Accelerometer and proximity so as you can see I have my proximity and light sensor right here So these are all the programs and applications that come on the Samsung Galaxy S and if you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and leave comments. So we like to hear pros and cons about the device, what you think about the Samsung Galaxy S, what you think about the other variants that may be coming to uh, T-Mobile and AT&T in the near future. Thanks for watching.